You've just won the first set 6-3, and you're sitting down on the changeover. You feel relieved to have won the previous game to close out the set, especially after having been up 5-1, and the opponent having almost got back into the set. You wipe your face with a towel and take a sip from your water bottle. It's a hot summer day today, and it feels really refreshing. Your mind starts to wander and imagine your next match after winning this one, or even what's for dinner. You get up and go to the baseline to start serving the first game of the second set. First serve. Your first serve hits the net. Second serve. You go for a slice out wide and it misses just wide of the line. Double fault. Love 15. Second point of the game. You miss the first serve. Second serve barely lands into the opponent's forehand. You are immediately on the defense. After the opponent pressures your backhand side, one of your backhands lands short and the opponent hits a winner into the open court on your forehand side. Love 30. Out of frustration, you hit your first serve as hard as you can and it goes right at the opponent's body. They shank it into the net. 15-30. You start imagining losing this first game and how bad it would be. You comfort yourself by remembering that you won the first set, right? You go for a hard serve again and you shank it completely. Second serve. You go to the opponent's backhand successfully, but they hit a nasty weird slice that brings you to the net. You get lobbed. You think, man, what a lucky shot they hit. 15-40. You hit a good first serve this time, but the opponent redirects the pace hard to your body and you're not ready for it. You're not fully set and try to go for an attacking shot, not wanting to extend the rally. Your shot goes long and the opponent does a fist pump to themselves. This is terrible, and exactly what you were afraid would happen. You stay standing on the changeover, too anxious to even sit down, and wanting to show the opponent you're raring to go. You ask yourself, how can I get my momentum back? It's at this time, before the first point of the next game, that you go to the back of the fence with your back to the opponent and look at your strings. There's a few out of place, so you begin to adjust them with your fingers. You say to yourself, okay, I accept that I didn't handle the start of this first set well, but I can make adjustments. Firstly, I can focus on moving my feet better and not being anxious to finish points quickly. I can focus on the moment at hand and not on what's for dinner or my next match. There's hard work to be done here. First point of the next game. You jump up and down to get your feet active and make a solid return. You stay in a cross-court forehand rally, keeping the ball deep. Your opponent misses a ball into the net. Love 15. Second point of the game. Your opponent hits a wide serve and you miss a slice into the net. That's okay. You say good serve and move on. 15 all. Next point. Your opponent's second serve lands short and you make your way to the net. You remember you were lobbed before, so you don't come as close to the net. Sure enough, the opponent instead goes for a risky down the line winner and misses just wide. 15-30. You remind yourself again to focus on the moment. The opponent hits a good serve down the tee and you scramble to get it back. The opponent isn't fully ready and tries to hit a wild winner into the backhand side. And it goes long. 15-40. You remind yourself that the pressure is on the opponent, and you should play solid, keep the rallies going, and wait for an opportunity. Your opponent hits a decent second serve, and after a backhand cross-court exchange, you wait patiently for a suitable forehand, and then successfully hit a deep forehand into the opponent's backhand side. The opponent is slightly late on their backhand and hits a short ball. You hit an approach shot into the backhand side, and you wrong foot the opponent and they don't even make it to the ball. Now you fist pump. Staying in the moment, however, you quickly set your mind to the next service game, reminding yourself to keep your first serve percentage high and to wait for opportunities. 